After reactor number four of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant melted down in the April of 1986, thus causing the worst nuclear disaster in human history, nearly 600,000 people with thousands of different occupations ranging from firefighter to journalist descended upon the site to help in cleanup and decontamination efforts. These were Chernobyl's liquidators, a somewhat ominous sounding term from the original Soviet definition which reads, participants in liquidation of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident consequences. And we know this is exactly what it says because you can read that original definition engraved right here. This, as far as I can tell, is one of the original medals awarded to Chernobyl's liquidators. And on it, you can see the original Soviet inscription. Participant in liquidation of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident consequences. This is the piece of Chernobyl's history that I own. I thought it were a fitting trinket to represent all the time I've spent thinking about the disaster and researching it, and especially since I'll be within walking distance of the elephant's foot pretty soon, but more on that later. It's really something else to hold in your hand, and I kind of admire it, if that makes sense. But as I was looking at the design, I noticed something. There's some science hidden in this metal. If you look at the center of the metal, you see a drop of blood with curved lines running through it. The lines are labeled alpha, beta, and gamma. Over a hundred years ago, after Marie Curie discovered radioactivity itself, Sir Ernest Rutherford discovered that radioactive sources don't just put out one catch-all form of radiation. In fact, there was three different kinds. Through the clever use of a radioactive source and some foil, Rutherford was able to show that some radiations penetrate further than others. He deemed these alpha and beta radiations, alpha radiation being a hundred times less piercing than beta radiation. Alpha radiation was helium nuclei with a charge and beta radiation was electrons. Later, they would add a third kind of radiation to the list, gamma radiation, a thousand times more piercing than alpha radiation and by far the most dangerous of the three. And in Rutherford's book on the subject from 1930, it was further demonstrated that each of these radiations acted differently when under the influence of an electric or magnetic field. When something behaves weird in a magnetic or electric field, that's usually because it has some electric or magnetic nature itself. Alpha radiation has a positive charge and beta radiation a negative charge. And so in a static electric or magnetic field, those particles can be attracted or repelled by these fields. And so in Rutherford's original diagram and his experiments, you can see these radiations curving this way or that. Gamma radiation, on the other hand, has no charge. It's just a high energy photon like an X-ray. And so it moves in a straight line, unimpeded. This is also why it can penetrate so far into matter. It doesn't interact with it very well. Now that you know this, look back at the original liquidator metal. Do you see it now? Superimposed over this drop of blood is Rutherford's original radiation deflection diagram. Now I should say that the diagram as depicted here isn't 100% accurate. It looks like the paths for alpha and beta radiation were flip-flop because the radii of those paths are way off for it to be 100% accurate, but that doesn't really matter. What this means as a symbol is kind of poetic. Hundreds of thousands of people's lives deflected by the radiation from the worst nuclear disaster in history. It's a symbol that means even more when you know the science behind it. It's an honor for me to own something like this, and it means even more to me knowing that soon, either I will have done this already when this video comes out or I will be about to do it, soon I will be going to Chernobyl. I'll be spending seven days inside of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. I'll be shadowing scientists and engineers and professionals, learning everything that I can and filming everything that I can to bring you something that I hope is truly special. Uh, my goal is to demystify this accursed place, to show you what it's actually like to be there. Well, that's my hope anyway. And I want to really focus in on making this something maybe you haven't seen anywhere else and that has a special perspective. And that brings me 
to some changes that I want to bring to this channel. At the time I'm filming this episode, I have made at least one sciencey something for the internet every single week, without missing one, I don't think, for the last seven years in a row. It's been a lot of hard work, and it's been quite a grind. I'm proud of everything that we've done, but now that you and I are here at the facility and we're approaching one million subscribers, it means something a little bit different to me. Either we already have it when you're watching this or we're about to get it. it means something different to me now, and now that I've reached this point, I think I want to take some time to refocus on what I think will actually work and have an impact. I don't have to put something out for all of you, even though I want to, just because it's a new week. I want to focus in on things that I know will do well and be the best that they can be. I will still be streaming office hours, I'll still be playing video games with you on Scientist Plays, but if I don't publish a video every single week, know that it's hopefully because I'm spending some extra time making something extra special. Okay, I know you may have seen the title of this video and thought, oh no, Kyle's just gonna walk into the woods and never come back. Now, while I do want to do that, the education and the impact that I want to impart onto you isn't going anywhere. I'm still gonna do my best to bring you the very best in science and entertainment, but maybe more sporadically. I mean, I have to go to Pripyat for goodness sake. And who knows how customs is gonna treat me when I try to bring back like radioactive moths. Anyway, thank you to all who have supported me and been here for this educational journey for as long as we've been doing it. We've got some good stuff coming up. Until next time. Now exiting the facility.